guys welcome back to my channel as you can see we are going to break down one scripture verse out of the Bible it's one of the ways I love to study the scripture and I can memorize it and use the scripture throughout the week so let's get started you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you Isaiah 26 verse 3 that's the English Standard Version so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to take my marker and I have also my other colored markers around and I am going to then highlight and also point out keywords and also I looked up in Webster's Dictionary the definition for some of these words so that I would have deeper and further understanding of them and as I read the scripture as a whole I'll be able to apply those definitions now to the scripture verse. Okay, so let's take a few moments and point out some key words. I'm going to use my marker to draw an arrow and then write either who is talking or what the definition is of that key word. So immediately I know that the U is referring to Christ. So I made a little circle so that I can highlight the color and then I put Christ. Then I noticed that him is us. So you, meaning Christ, keeps us in perfect peace. Now I looked up the definition of perfect, and part of the definition of perfect is being entirely without fault. So I write that on top of perfect. Then I go to peace, and I looked up the definition of peace. And the definition of peace is state of tranquility or quiet. Then I'm going to move on to the next keyword. And the next key word that I really liked was mind. Our mind, the thing that we use to process our thoughts, emotions go through our mind, and things that we think about. And then that brings us back to the next line where you is used again. And so I do an arrow and put Christ. Because you is referring to Christ. Because he trusts, so I looked at the definition of trust, assured reliance on character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something. So I write that definition underneath the word trust. Once I get to the end of the verse, I see the word you again, and then I am going to make another reference to Christ. So now we're just going to go back up to the top and read it again. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you. Let's read it again. You, Christ, keep him, us, in perfect, being entirely without fault, peace state of tranquility or quiet, whose mind, our thoughts, is stayed on you, who is Christ, because he trusts, assured reliance on character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something in you, Christ. And that is Isaiah 26.3, and I use the English Standard Version. So now I'm currently taking my colored highlighters, and I'm going to highlight each point and also highlight each keyword so that it stands out against the page. So when I read back, I know exactly what keywords I am focusing on and their meaning. And also it just looks really cool and pretty because I love using highlighters and any kind of color pencils or crayons or anything of that nature. So I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to highlight each key word so that it stands out. I really highly suggest that you get your own set of highlighters, pens, whatever you want to do to make your Bible study process even more enjoyable. For me, the fact that I can look down at the paper or look down at my Bible and see tons of different colors or just different coordinations to the colors like blue means something, pink means something, orange means something, that really helps me to keep 
everything that I am studying together and it also just makes it really fun. I mentioned in the last Bible study that I did with you guys that I think it's very important that you choose five to ten scripture verses in that particular method that I was using in order to really understand and dissect and digest the verses that you're reading. This method is literally taking one verse and dissecting it completely word by word so that you would have full understanding of what you are reading. The benefits of doing it this way is you can also use this as a scripture verse that you can read throughout the entire week, also spend time memorizing it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this method. I really hope Hope that you take the time to choose one verse out of the Bible and just truly study it, truly dissect it, and get the full meaning of it. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!